such a beauty. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to our channel. So here's my first question to you guys. Have you ever had bad hair days? Me? What about you, Jeff? I have a bad hair day right now. We always have that kind of bad hair day. I do get that all the time. So for today's video, you're going to see me trying out new products. So let's roll the video in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, hello. So I'm a, I'm a new personality. <laughs> I'm, I'm not Anna, I'm cave woman Anna. <laughs> this is a problem with my hair. Um, it's not really straight and it has gotten a lot worse. It's uh, fizzy, dry. So my lovely husband, wave your hand so your hands can be seen in the video. My lovely husband has bought me my <laughs> hair stuff. Um, back in Korea, I had this hair straightening tool which I use every time I wake up and then just do my whole, my whole shebang. But here in the U.S., I did not have anything, so it's been like this for about three months now. Um, and so he got me some stuff right over here. There's Anna, <laughs> yeah. So. This is by L'Oreal. Sleek It Iron Straight Hairspray. Hmm. So I've never had this before other than what I used back in South Korea. It's called Misen. Um, it's for um, moisturizing the hair. Um, I put it after or before I iron my hair out. So this one is um, quite easy to use. I've never used it. I've never even looked it up on online. So this is the first product. Okay. And the second one, which is a lot more expensive, is a professional hair styling. Um, thermal protection for your hair. I guess this has great reviews. If you've used this before, comment down below how was your experience using this stuff. So, um, let's try and use this. So after reading the instructions, it says press button to unlock trigger. You can't use it because it has a button over here. So you have to unlock it. Okay. Um, so we're going to press it. Now we can use it. Alright, so what I'm going to do here first is section my hair because you can't spray it whole. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I'm just going to do it randomly like this. How do I look? Oh yeah, lucky. Alright, section by section. Uh, I guess you just... Uh, doesn't have to be a lot, I would suppose. Just so you have enough protection and it smells really good um what's it smell like you have a better description it smells coconutty doesn't it hmm? all right so i got first section out there um let's try another section here when are you gonna straighten it um as soon as i have applied the whole thing to my hair and then I can use the iron. I think that what's the whole concept anyway of having the uh, hair protection? Protect you from the iron. Okay, I guess it's to protect your hair from drying out because if you iron your hair every day, chances are you're gonna, you're gonna mess up your hair. You'll damage it. Damage it like it's cooked under the sun. So you're doing the do it all, do the oil all over first and then do the ironing. I would say yes. Instead of do a little bit of ironing, do a little section at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now after you do the hair straightening, this will be left in the hair. Yes. Okay. Now this bottle was pretty cheap. It was like $4, so about 200 to 250 pesos which is not too bad for this type of product. Now, what I'm going to pull out next is um, the ironing. So this is what my husband got me. It's a professional hair ironing straightener. And the iron is encased in this beautiful, um, sort of like leather feel uh, case. Open it real gentle. 
I haven't used it, as you can see. It still has its plastic. And it's real pretty. It's got a weight to it. So it's got a plug protector. And we're going to peel this up. All right, so how do we unlock this? Unlock it, it has this button, which secures the clip. According to the package, this is waterproof, so if it gets wet uh, by accident, it's safe to use. Alright, now, just real quick, what I also got from this package is a thermal mitten, just to protect your hand from the uh, hot iron. And I also got some clips, which earlier I used to portion my hair as I sprayed the solution. Uh, I got four clips, two is in the bathroom. I also got a professional hair styling comb. Okay, so are you guys ready? Oh, and manual. So before you turn anything on, make sure it doesn't have any plastic. Okay. So let's do a close-up of it right here. Okay. How do you turn it on? So turn it to turn it on. Now it'll go up to whatever temperature you select and it'll start flashing when it's at that temperature. So it tells me it's at that temperature right now. So if you turn the temperature up, it'll go up more. Can you put it up more? Uh -huh. So you can actually twist it. To make the temperature go up more. Uh, and then it'll start flashing when it's at that ooh, temperature. Okay, okay. So I turn it off. It's all the way past that um, curve down there. So here's the power button. It tells you that the temperature right now is about 130 degrees, which I think is fairly okay for my type of hair. It's very, it's not too thick, but if you want it really at its highest, turn this knob clockwise, and then it'll push up. Okay, but right now I just want it at 130. So I think the, this is ready to go. Now I could use the um, thermal uh, mitten the glove, but I'm not really used to using it, so I'm just going to do this without. It must be when it stops flashing, then it's at the right temperature. Yeah. Ooh, that it's must hot be already. it. Yeah. yeah. So it's hot already, you can actually feel it. Don't want to let it sit on your hair uh, too long, otherwise it'll just cook up your hair. So it looks good. It's uh, very sleek. Very good. I like it. Thanks, babe. And voila. Right now, I just wanted a straight hair. I just want straight hair. I'm ready to do the next set. Okay. Just be careful that your ears don't get in the way. It would hurt. Have I experienced it? Yeah. It wasn't pleasant. So, Anna, I noticed you sort of pause at the end. Why is that? Um, I, my hair at the tip um, tend to curl a little bit, like what you see here. They're like all over the place, tips of my hair. So I like to um, leave the iron at the tip a little bit longer just to maybe weigh my hair down as it straightens up. Sort okay. of like an anchor, I guess. But that's me, that's how I do mine. And how hard do you press down on it um, six when you're years, doing yeah. it? Yeah, well, six years that I've been using my old tool in South Korea, I tend to clamp the clip down hard, sort of need it. But with this one, I don't think you need to. It's just a, um, out of habit, but I'm not using any pressure right now. I'm not using any pressure, and it seems to do the job. It doesn't snag as you pull it, though. No. it's very nice. And how's the weight? The weight, it has a weight to it. it has a weight to it. Um, it's not that bad. It, it, I guess it's the same for all hair straighteners, um, having that a little bit of a weight, but it's not that bad. See the difference? Very nice. I'm not sure if it's my hair or the iron, the hair straightener doing that, or maybe L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Okay. Um, but it's much better. It's more manageable. Looks professional. Hmm? Awesome. Ah, it's like rebonded. 
like it. So we'll catch you by guys in a few, okay? I'll finish my whole thing and let you see what it looks like after. So five, four, three, two, one, stay right there. So I'm done. It only took me about 15 minutes. I don't really want to spend too long ironing my hair because you don't want to cook your hair too long. So as soon as you're done, make sure that, um, I'm just uh, turning it back on, make sure that when you're done, turn it off by twisting the bottom knob right at the arrow line here at the center. Okay. So it took me about 15 minutes. This is really sweet to use. While I was doing my hair, I accidentally poked my ear <laughs> with the tip of this ironing tool. And I was like, whoa, wait a second, that's gonna be pain. But it's really not that bad. Right now it's off, but it's got that secure stuff at the tip, which prevents from having an accident with any part of your face or your ear. So it's got that portion which is away from the metal plate. So your ears are okay. My ears are okay. So what do I think about the um, hair straightener? Took me about 15 minutes like I said. All I needed to do was just swipe down the tool for like once or twice or maybe three times just to, you know, set the straightening uh, up. Um, and I think it works like a charm. It does its stuff good like my hair feels like it just I just came out from a hair salon that's what I feel like right now um, about the L'Oreal if I did not use the L'Oreal I don't know what my hair would feel like maybe I'll do another video um, here hair straightening my my stuff without this but with this stuff you don't want to use this too much because it's going to wear your hair down like really drag your hair down so what I did was just, I sprayed it just a little bit, sprayed it over my hair. It feels slick, but if you add it too much, it's gonna feel like you're back in the 50s, you know, with the guys wearing their promenade so thick. That's how it's gonna feel like if you overuse this stuff. Right now it feels light, feels good, and it feels sexy, and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time for another video from Expat Memo where the expat becomes a native and I am now the sole expat. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in guys and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have any comments or suggestions, write them down in the comment section below. Till then, see you next time. Bye!